tech space and I am pumped to be unboxing my brand new e-scooter that we bought um, as you guys can remember in the previous video we um, unboxed and set up my wife Erika's new scooter and today is my turn so guys as you can see the box is significantly bigger than the one we unboxed in the previous video the reason being this is a massive 13 inch electric scooter 13 inches being the wheel size so just a quick disclaimer before we go on guys this scooter has not been sponsored or sent to me uh, to review by anyone um, I do not, do not get any kickback from reviewing the scooter I bought the scooter with my own money and um, I'll be honest with everything that I see obviously and uh, I just want to make sure that whoever thinks of buying items like this um, can make a more informed decision by knowing what's going on with these type of scooters so also guys another thing that you can see is this box looks a lot better than the one that the TNE came in um, the box looks amazing for something that came all the way from China according to the label and um, yes so this is the Mankiel X5 now I know the Yumi I think it's the Yumi X11 or X7 that's very similar to this one and then also the Obarter X5 that's a more um, known one out there. If you go on YouTube and you go search the Obata X5, you'll get a lot of videos on the specific scooter. But if you go search Mankiel X5, which this one is, you won't find any other video that I could find on YouTube before. So I'm quite excited to show you guys. So let's start off with this by cutting open this beautiful box. So as you can see this is a box within a box so the previous video we did and we unboxed a TNE that one did not have two boxes in one this is something that we've been seeing often now where companies are putting their uh, scooters into two boxes because often what will happen because because it travels from China it's quite a heavy product and the boxes get damaged but as you can see guys this outer box really looked well and then it's got an inner box as well, which is great. Okay, let's cut open the inner box. I think. <laughs> it seems like we are upside down oh okay so the shipping sticker was put upside down and I made a stupid error of thinking that that was the right way up but I see there's a small stick on the side here that says made in China and it's the other way around so this is the bottom of the box so we are just going to have to make do with what we got here right guys okay so let's start taking out the items from inside the box so first things first we've got a piece of polystyrene here again it's this type of um, packaging material it's not like many of the other scooter brands who started to put in cardboard boxes um, styrofoam type of material which again is not great for the environment but um, yeah hopefully um, all the scooter brands that send um, their products to international markets in the local markets can start using cardboard packaging throughout. All right, guys, um, we had to turn the box around. It was going to be too difficult to try and get the, um, the scooter out of the box the other way. All right, guys, and so now we've got it the right way up. So um, the first thing that I see when I open the box is that the scooter is actually wrapped in plastic which is a very nice addition um, good packaging I must say what I'm seeing here is that the packaging is definitely better than what we saw with the TNE so the first thing that I took out 
is a mud guard actually so this will come over the back um, will come over the back tire and it's because the back tire um, is spread so wide off from the deck you need this to actually cover any possible mud or wetness or anything that will spray up all right just going to put that to the side okay guys then in this little box here we've got what looks to be the charging brick all right okay guys so it's a standard charger um it's got a little bit of a weird type of carbon fiber look to it but it's just plastic with a little bit of a pattern um, you've got your standard um, charging plug that you see in most scooters and this has got a maximum output of 3 amps right guys so there is the charger and we've got a South African plug <laughs> This plug is very familiar, familiar to me as I'm from South Africa and we use this, we call this a, uh, a two socket plug. So, um, so yes, this is not going to work for me here. Luckily I've got South African adapters and I'll be able to charge it with that. So this is actually good, but yeah, I wish it came with a New Zealand plug. Right, let me just put that to the side. And there we go there's a little uh, plug that they gave with um, into the box guys and that is probably going to be the one that we're going to use to charge it even though it doesn't look like it's going to work I can't see how the double point is going to be going into that but but yeah luckily like I said I've got a I've got a plug all right so that came with it as well Okay guys, and then you've got that typical multi-tool that we got in the TNE scooter. This comes with all the scooters that come from China. I'm not going to open this one up because I've already got one that was open with the TNE. But yeah, it's a, it's a fairly okay type of a multi-tool. Not the best quality, but at least it's better than just using normal Allen keys. Alright. Okay, and then it looks like we've got a, I'm guessing an instruction manual. It seems like this might not have all the pages. As you can see, it starts on page two and you can definitely see that the first page has probably been ripped off. All right, but guys, there is English um, instructions inside, which is good. And it gives you an idea of what to do, how to ride etc etc everything is in english so it should be fairly easy to understand um, okay guys so that is our instruction manual all right so we continue with the unboxing again another piece of styrofoam i'm just going to put it on that side and another piece okay Oh, actually, I want to cut my fingers off. Alright, let's see. Just come closer and you can see how it looks when it's unwrapped look at that tire guys it seems like it's a more of a type of a, a road going tire compared to the knobby tires that we have on the TNE on Erika's scooter all right so I'm going to try to get this scooter out of the box I'm not too sure if I'll be able to lift it because I think it weighs about 45 kilograms okay guys we finally got it out of the box <laughs> myself and Erika needed to pick it up probably weighs about 50 kilograms it's incredibly heavy um, okay so let us continue with the on the wrapping and the setup um, all right okay so let's see 
see. get all of the packaging material off. Okay guys, that exposed the metal bars. This is one beefy scooter. It's a colossal thing. I knew it was going to be big, but I never thought it was going to be that big. the double or the dual stem with the headlights all right okay guys so let's just make sure let's just secure the locking mechanism on the on the stem okay guys as you can see there's a little um, leave it at the, at the bottom here that allowed us to if you press it up that allowed us to actually move the stem upwards wow guys this is a colossal scooter it's absolutely massive right let's quickly try and start by putting up the handlebar into place Going to take this screws out. As you can see, guys, it's a little bit of a different approach to what we saw on the TNE scooter unboxing and setup. Um, looks like a type of an aluminium a finish, just with red paint on it, um, and that will probably um, be safe and secure for. The scooter all right so looks like it needs to go in that way all right so I'm just going to put the controller back with the screws all right Right, just want to get the Allen key, secure them, oh lucky, it was on the right one. Okay guys, you typically want to put these screws in a little by little, just to make sure that you're putting the handle lock into place evenly. That side. All right, guys. Let's just tighten it up. quickly run through the scooter and let's see what we've got here all right guys so it's massive so first things first you've got dual stems actually looks like it goes forward here through the the dual shocks in the front it's almost like motorbike style shocks that it's got um or bike shocks almost um here's your front router i'm guessing this is going to be very loud and then you've got a little cover for the lights. As you can see, dual lights. These are probably going to be extremely bright. All right, guys. And then if we move here to the deck, um, very nice non-slip surface that it's got. Um, almost like sandpaper finish. You've got the logo of the scooter um, in the middle. You've got a little 
um, foot rests for the back and it seems like the scooter already came with one of those mud guards so that extra mud, that other mud guard is probably just an extra um, quickly come check this side Erika just look at that incredibly beefy kickstand wow that is incredible eh that is the beefiest kickstand I've seen on a scooter very very nice okay guys and as you can see it's got a very very thick deck to house all of the battery talking about batteries guys it's got a 60 volt 30 amp hour battery according to the specs it's got a dual charging port on the right side so if you've got two charges you can use both charges but it only came with one so we'll just use one um, and as you can see guys got your thick or big 13 inch tires with dual motors well, guys this scooter has got a combined power output of 5600 nominal watts it's got dual motors like i said earlier it looks like it has got Desilant brakes. I haven't seen these brakes before. They look to be hydraulic. Yes, they are hydraulic brakes. And if you come look here closer, Erika, you'll see that we've got a very similar type of speed controller to what uh, we have on the TNE. Um, what is just a little bit different here is that the grips feel not as nice as the TNE. I would have preferred that type of a more um, softer rubber with more grip. This is more like a slippery type of rubber, which I don't really prefer. There is little holes here that's probably going to help a little bit for ventilation. And then you've got your eco and turbo mode, and you've also got your single and dual motor uh, buttons. They feel okay, probably not the best thing, but the only way that you'll know that you've selected it is obviously when you press it in, you can feel it a little bit more in. If you press it out, the button comes out more. But yeah, when you're driving, that might be a little bit difficult to see. And you've got a little LCD screen here, guys. Let's just pull this off. I know everyone loves peeling off stickers on um, screens. Um, it does leave a little bit of a residue, so it might take a little bit of isopropyl to just remove that last bit of residue. You've got an on and off for the lights, and you've got a turn signal with your horn, right? And then, guys, look at this. You've actually got your own set of keys. So this one works with a key, so you won't be able to ride it without this. Okay, guys, so if you look at the front, it looks like this some sort of it, it's a thick extremely thick perspex material that they use as the front cover here, which is really 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 nice and you've got the same perspex running around the deck as well so my guess is that um, the leds is also running inside of this uh, perspex okay guys just another couple of things so they say that the top speed is 85 kilometers per hour obviously it won't, I, I personally won't feel safe riding that on a scooter. I think it's good to stay with the speed limits and, and make sure that whenever you ride, you do it safely with your safety gear. That's going to be another video of ours where we're going to buy safety gear for our entire family with four people with two boys. So that's going to be in a separate video in the future. And then guys as well, like I said, um, it's got a, a 30, 60 volt, 30 amp hours and they say it will be good for about 70 kilometers. So we'll test that and see if that's actually true. Um, fasten all of the um, items that we've got on the handlebar and then we're going to do the night performance outside. Okay guys, so as you can see, um, we've got a little disco going on here. <laughs> um, RGB light inside of the perspex of the, the scooter. It looks phenomenal. Um, I mean, at night time when you ride with this thing, everyone is going to see you. Um, Okay guys, so as you can see, the dual front lights is quite um, bright. If you look at the wall there, um, it's incredible. The, I, I've never seen a scooter with that good of a um, light system. Uh, then guys, if you come here to the back, you'll see that you've got a nice little brake light. And you've got a 
right signal and you've got a left signal and you've got your brake to come towards the handlebar here you will see that you've got your your voltage reading on the LCD and then you've also got your speed controller um, it's not as colorful as the one that you see in the T um, the T and E but it still looks amazing at night no problems of seeing um, the information that it displays we'll obviously look at it during the day as well but yeah guys so that is the unboxing and setup of my brand new scooter um, if you um, like this video and it was informative please smash the um, like button please subscribe and please leave any comments um, if you want to find out anything about the specific scooter thank you so very much for being here guys